Question 10 is for 7 marks. Now we're getting down to that part of the paper that separates the men from the boys or the distinctions from the misses. At first this looks again like some kind of 3D geometric question, but it, in fact it's differentiating a cubic function. Once you see that, it's actually a simple problem to solve. By changing R, you change the volume and we need to find the peak or the turning point of that volume function. We don't know what the function is yet, but let's work it out. We're given that V equals pi R squared times H and that H plus R equals 9 or H equals 9 minus R. Make that equation 1. Now substitute equation 1 into the equation for the volume and we get V equals pi R squared times H or V equals pi R squared times 9 minus R or V equals pi R squared minus pi R cubed. This we can see is a simple cubic function, rather like the one that we had in question 9. And we see that a is minus pi, or a is less than zord, so it's going to have that shape. Beginning high left, dipping down to the bottom, going back up and coming out again. With no r coefficient or no constant, the function is going to go through the point zero, 0. The volume will then climb, and at point c, where the derivative of v is 0, we'll get the maximum volume. The derivative of V then is 18 pi R minus 3 pi R squared. When we solve for the derivative V equals to naught, we get 0 equals 18 pi R minus 3 pi R squared or 3 pi R times 6 minus R equals 0. Now since R can't be 0, the solution must be 6 minus r equals 0, or r equals 6.